This is straight out of an urban legend book. This is the old San Diego City Hall here on G Street in the Gas Lamp Corridor. The pipes here are probably pretty old, but no one would have guessed what was hiding inside of them. I came in here just a normal day. Nature was calling Stephanie Loxa. I noticed that the water level was up a little bit higher than normal. Loxa grabbed the plunger, thinking she was going to blame her partner, Holly Wells, at Vertical PR and Marketing. And then next thing I know, I'm like, this is definitely not Holly's doing. I noticed that something's coming out. I saw the flicker of the snake's tongue. As soon as I realized that that was a snake, I booked it out of there, plunger still in hand, and screamed all the way to my desk. Locks had called her partner. I absolutely didn't believe her. What is it, like a pencil sharpie? I said, no, like the snake's head was huge. I went to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere near that bathroom, but you need to see how big the snake is. So I inched it open, inch by inch, and then I saw the snake's head, and it was huge. She clicked these pictures of the snake coiled behind a toilet. Oh my God. Shut the door taped it shut, and then screamed and ran and sat on my desk. And Stephanie had her feet up on the desk. Oh, you were on the desk. Yeah. Your landlord called animal control. This is what was brought out, a five-foot Colombian rainbow constrictor. Reopening the thing, pulling the snake out, outreaching, and have, like a little bit of its curled on its arm. Did the whole wingspan thing. I, I'm terrified of snakes, so that, that's all I ever want to witness. Oh, I was I was shocked. The ladies have been scarred for life. I mean, it's not just this toilet. It's going to be every bathroom experience probably for the rest of my life. It's something we don't ever want coming out of our toilet. I love everything about this story. <laughs> From San Diego's old city hall. This is an urban legend. Joe Little, 10 News.